Well, I always try to uh, answer my subscribers whenever they got a question, need to see something. And one of my subscribers was asking me, he says, is it possible to control a light from more than two places? Bob, you did the three-way switch circuit. Is there a way that I can control that light from more than one door that enters the room? And the answer to that is yes. And uh, he said, well, how many can I do? And the answer to that is as many as you want to. Uh, as I've mentioned in one of my other videos, there are six doors in this room right here I'm standing. Six doors. And uh, I could, if I wanted to, run a, a switch next to every door in this room. And you want the light on, flip the switch, light it come on. You want it off, flip any, any switch. And it'll, and it'll cut off. And the way we do that is with two three-way switches and then as many four-way switches as you need and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw this here <coughs> pardon me maybe I need some of that homemade Baileys this morning <laughs> anyway I'm gonna draw this for you to uh, illustrate it and uh, if you need more help with it you know feel free to holler at me but anyway I'm just gonna zoom in here on the uh, on the board and uh, turn my back to you rudely and get on with it. Okay, if you recall, our black wire is the wire we break. That's the, that's the wire we put our switch on because the black wire is one that is hot. The white wire is our neutral and it just goes from box to box to box and ties into the white all the way through to your light, okay? So, for the sake of argument, I'm not going to confuse you by showing that white wire in every box. I'm just going to show you how we're wiring the switches. Okay. If you recall, with my three-way switch, I could be in this position or that position. And with a four-way switch, I'm going to lay it on its side. A four-way switch will either be crossed like this, or if you flip it, it'll run straight like that. Okay? So we can put as many four-way switches into this uh, circuit as we wish. And it doesn't matter which way they're flipped, it don't matter if it's flipped up, down, left, sideways, whatever. But for the sake of the drawing, these switches are laying on their side. If I had a drawing of a switch and you know you got the little toggle right here, you'll have a screw here and a screw here and a screw here and a screw here. Your travelers will come in. Your travelers are going to come in black, and you're going to have red. And we got as many of these in here as we want. And just for the sake of argument, because I talked about my room in here having six doors, I'm going to put in six switches. And then, let's see, we end up with our three-way switch. And black wire going to the light. Okay. So what you can do is you can draw this out yourself. You can draw this out yourself. This is a three-way, this is a four, this is a four-way, this is a four-way, this is a four-way, and this is a three-way. One, two, three, four, five, six switches to control one light. And let's look at 
our light and let's see let's just follow our power and find out is our light on or is our light off and we're going to come in here and okay I've got my hot wire and my switch is in this position so I'm traveling down the black and this switch is in that position and I'm following my black and well it jumps up here and I'm following my red and it comes down here and yes my light is on in this configuration now I can pick any switch any switch at all and that light will go out and it's real easy to see right here you know, if I flip it that way, then obviously that light's not going to work because I flipped the switch. But let's just do it real quick. We'll walk right through all of them. We'll take just a second. And I flip my switch to where it's making contact there. And so we're running along here. And we go down and all the way across. And oh, I do not have a connection here. My light is not on. Well, let's go to another doorway and let's flip this switch right here. Those lines were going straight. Now, they're going that way. So I'm coming in here with my power and I go down and across and up and over and my light is on. And I said, well, I'm gonna go out the other door and turn the light off. So I flip that switch. And now my power is coming in, it goes down, it goes over, it goes up, it goes over, it goes down, and it goes across, and the light is off. And then I walk around the house and I come in another door. And I'm going to change that one from straight across to this way. And now then, my power comes in, it goes over, it goes down, it goes up, it goes across, it goes down, it goes across, it goes up, and my light is on. And then finally, my sixth door, I flip that switch, and we come across, we go up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, and the light is not on because the switch is not in that position. So, your travelers will come in like this, you'll bring a red wire in here, and you'll send a red wire out there. You'll bring a black wire in up here and a black wire come out right there to the next switch. And then on my drawing, this switch is turned sideways just to make it easier to draw and e because my board is wider than it is tall. But that's the way your three-way and four-way switches wire in. And you just bring that black in on that common and that power will come out on that three-way switch on that common. Well, I hope that uh, I hope that that's answered your question out there. That is how we can have more, that, that's how we can control a, a light from more than two locations. So, uh, Remember, this white wire is actually running along in that Romex, and it's, it's in the switch boxes, and you're just tying the white wires together as you jump across. If this is at all confusing, go to my three-way wiring circuit, and it'll go in more detail as far as the wires and how they work and all that kind of stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day, and a better tomorrow. Bye.